there is some stuff which if I'd known this when I very first started surfing I think that my progress would have been so much faster so in this video what I want to do is I want to share with you what has worked for me over the last two and a half years things that I'm still working on myself but these are the things that have worked for me real quick bit of a uh, background I've been surfing now for 22 and a half years 22 so yeah so so I started surfing when I was 17 I'm now 45 how many my math is is, is shocking I mean, 17 37 oh my god I haven't been surfing for 22 years I've been surfing for longer than that in two years time I'll have been surfing for 30 that makes me feel even worse so two years time and I've been surfing for 30 years and I'm still really shit never mind um I'm gonna share with you what I would consider this the, the seven things which over the last two and a half years of being with Ombi have helped me go from being a bad surfer into somebody who's not so bad, maybe even slightly good on a, on a good day. First thing that I would want to share with you is to perfect the neutral stance. The neutral stance, what I mean by the neutral stance, is a lot of people when, when they learn to surf, they do this and they're very much side on. It would be very much stacked over that, that front leg, I'm neutral footed, stacked over the front leg and with so that your, your belly button, everything is sort of pointing forwards towards the nose of the board. If I had learned that early on, it would have stopped me training in, standing side on. And because I'd surfed for so long, wrong, it was really hard for me to undo all of these bad habits. That would have made, that's definitely one of the first things that I would have, that I would have wanted to have got right. Once the neutral stance becomes your default, when you stand up, you automatically go into that position. It opens you up so you can see so much more of the wave. It opens you up so that so that you're freed up. When you're when you're at this sort of side on surfer, so if I was surfing a wave to the right and I'm like this, and so my entire chest is facing the wave, everything's locked up. I can't see behind me, I can't see around, but by just doing this, it opens me up. It gives me so much more movement. It allows me to move in in, in a much what feels like a much more flowy way. Surfing is really hard to, to get the grips of. I've been surfing for nearly 30 years. You would think that somebody that has been doing the same sport for 30 years would be pretty damn good at it by now. So you, you're still not the best surfer after 30 years of surfing. Why do you still surf? I think it's because I enjoy the process. I enjoy the process of trying to get better. So I really want to be able to stand up, do turns. I'd love to be able to do airs. I'd love to get barreled, da -da 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 -da. all this amazing stuff. I'd love to be able to do it all. But you know what? Sometimes as well, I just enjoy just standing up on a wave and just knowing that I'm on a wave with this board underneath my feet and I'm just riding it. And I know that Clay doesn't like it when I, when I talk about riding a wave for as long as possible. But you know what? Sometimes that's fun. There's not a day where I go out surfing where I don't at least get one big smile on my face whenever I come out. The next thing that's been an absolute game changer, understanding the Oreo technique accompanied by positioning. So making sure that you're in the right spot. The easiest way to, to describe this is, is in the wave pool, for example. Down at the wave pool, you've got people that are paddling as fast as they can to try and get onto a wave and they're stressing out. And so when they go to stand up on the wave, they first of all, they've used so much energy just trying to catch the wave that when they stand up, first of all, their arms are a bit jellyish because they paddled really hard. But then they've got all this stress. That they're like, okay, well, I'm stood up. Now what do I do? Whereas when you understand the Oreo and positioning, you can just glide into a wave. You can just do like a couple of paddles. but there isn't that panic paddle. So when you then, when the wave comes in, you've got all of this extra time to observe what's going on, to feel what's going on, so that when you then feel the wave pick you up, 
you're not in this stressed moment. You're like, okay, what is it that I need to do next to be able to, to, be able to get to my feet and to make the, my, my, my journey down the face of the wave and set myself up for that first bottom turn. Once you understand that, well, instantly, like straight away, it will double the, the, the amount of waves that you get in a session. And secondly, you save so much energy. So which, which means that you can then stay out for longer and because you know positioning and the Oreo, you can catch even more waves. So your sessions become so much more fun because you catch more waves. Third thing that I would, that I would give as a tip, understanding the wave, understanding the energy that is happening in the water. This was something which once I got a grasp of this, when I was set out in the water, it changed the way that I saw everything that was happening. When I was catching a wave, it would change what I was feeling. When I was stood up on a wave, it would change what I was looking for. In a way that I did this is through body surfing. I spent quite a lot of time out in the water. Even if it was a really good day, I would, I would still go out and I would body surf. So body surfing for me was, was a really big eye opener. Now, one thing that I do know is body surfing is part of the, is part of the OMBI program. I don't think that many of the people in the OMBI program actually do the body surfing side of things. I think that people just don't think that it's, it's a cool thing. They really, they, they would rather go out surfing instead. This is, this is one of the beauties of always having clay around me. He, he says to me, no, you, you need to body surf. You need to body surf to understand the wave. Body surfing, now that I've been forced into it, changed my view of the way that a wave works. So at the, at the time of recording this video, Clay is currently away on a boat trip. And so I've been able to go out and just surf without Clay around. And um, it's quite beautiful, really. <laughs> but I do miss him. The next tip. So once you've got your neutral stance sorted out, once you've got your Oreo and your positioning, once you understand the wave, do that to the point where you can relax. One of the biggest things, and it's something which I still wish I had more of now, and that was more relaxation when I'm surfing. What I mean by that is being comfortable in the moment, not, not as I do a turn, everything suddenly locks up as I try and do a turn. It's something which I still haven't got in my surfing yet. It's something that I'm constantly working on. If you can stand up in your neutral stance, you can position yourself, you can Oreo, so you stood up and you're just on the wave. Do it, do it to the point where you can just be relaxed, where you can almost look around and say hi to the people. Who are, who are out back there, as you're going past people, say hi to them. Like, be that relaxed on the wave. Once you get to that point, then I would say, then start to learn the next thing. Because all too often, we just want to just keep on consuming and consuming and consuming, and, and we just make ourselves tense. The fifth thing, which has been amazing, and this is something, I, I don't think there's not a video that goes by, or, or a live that goes by, where we don't talk about the coffee cup. Now, if you're new to Ombi, the coffee cup is, is basically, so, oh, I got stuck on the chair then. I'm natural footed. The coffee cup would be my right hand. And it's just that I mentioned before about being neutral stance, being front on. That coffee cup is just bringing this hand forward, passing the coffee. Whereabouts is it that, that you want to go? A lot of the time we've got our intermediates, we've got our, our hands behind us, we're surfing like this. But by just doing this, and then when you're in a turn, just passing the coffee whereabouts you want to go, or when you're doing that bottom turn, trying to put the coffee cup down, or when you're doing the top turn, emptying the coffee out. That simple concept of imagining it as a coffee cup and passing the coffee, holding that, that cup and not trying to spill it, has made me think about turns and maneuvers and speed generation in a completely different way. So I'm not sort of thinking about what the body needs to do. All I'm thinking about is where does this coffee cup need to be? Like, do I need to be going down and up with it? Do I need to be pouring it out? Do I need to be leaning down with it? So coffee cup has been, has been a huge one. I mean, we could do a whole 20 minute video or an even longer video just on the coffee cup. It's a simple tool that has massive, massive results. The sixth thing which I wish I knew a while ago is you actually have more time than you think you do when you're surfing. Uh, I think fear gets in a lot of the time, either fear of getting taken by the wave and, 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 and wiped out or that you don't make the wave and then you look like a bit of a kook in front of everybody.
And so because of that, we end up rushing everything, rushing down the line, rushing our turns. The one tip that I would say here is whenever you do a turn, hold it for longer. Hold your turn for just that beat or two beats longer. When you think, okay, I got to straighten back out again, just hold it for a fraction longer and just see what happens. Now, okay, sometimes it might completely mess up, but sometimes you'll suddenly discover, wow, there was this, this extra bit which I never knew I had. I thought that the phone would gobble me up and take me to the bottom of the ocean. But in actual fact, I didn't. The phone pushed me back out and all of a sudden I'm back down the line and I'm getting another turn in. There's a scene in the film Gladiator where they've all got the shields, they all come in together. They've got the chariots that are coming out and the chariots have got those knives on the side and they're coming down. And, uh, and uh, um, the, the main star, I've forgot, forgotten his name. I, for some reason I was gonna call him Russell Brand. Crow. Russell Crowe, that's the one, Russell Crowe. He's in amongst all these shields and he goes, hold. Hold, and you can see that some of the guys are twitching and they want to like move forwards because they're worried about these knives coming towards them. And he goes, now, but he's made them hold for ages, but they go now and then they take like, one step forward and all of a sudden this chariot flips over. But I kind of see turns a bit like that. It, it is almost like you've got this little Russell Crowe inside your head just going, hold, 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 now. I think you'll be surprised at how much extra time you have once you stop trying to constantly run away. My final thing, which I found over the last two and a half years, in order to enjoy the journey of learning to surf and progress your surfing and get better at surfing, is you've got to play. You can't take it too seriously. The amount of times I see guys out in the water that are getting all frustrated because they might have messed up a turn, they're banging the boards, they've gone all, they've gone all Italo and they start smashing stuff. When we, were, when we were kids, we used to play and I think if you take that same approach to your surfing, where you just go out there and have fun, play. When you get up on a wave, woohoo, shout, cheer, whatever you want to do. While that isn't a, a full list of everything that I would focus on, those seven things, I know that if I'd known them back in the beginning, then after nearly 30 years of surfing, I would probably be a lot better than I am now. I'm becoming a man in my middle ages now, so I think that my ability to learn is a bit slower, but I'm trying to be more childlike in the way, in the way that I learn. The last two and a half years have been fun. Really fun. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed surfing before. But I enjoy surfing so much more now.